Hi, this is Lunch with Laura. I'm so glad you're able to join me. Thank you for spending a little bit of your lunch with me. Today I am in downtown Dallas. I have to take 15 hours of classes to maintain my license, so that's what I'm doing. So today um, we're going to be talking about seven great tips for single ladies. So I got this from um, onecole.com, which is really great. Uh, actually, my sister sent this to me. And these, these are taken from 10 lessons I learned from when I was single. So um, this I thought was really, really helpful and really good to hear. Sometimes things are a good reminder for us. So here we go, okay? Here are the seven great tips for single ladies, okay? Number one, practice self-love before you accept love from someone else. And goodness knows that I am one person who definitely lived that, okay? <laughs> um, you know, when I first got married, I didn't, I didn't have any type of, well, I shouldn't say any type. I suffered in the area of having self-love and um, just my self-worth, the way that I, that I valued myself or lack thereof, to be honest. And so um, that was just really, really important um, lesson that I should have known but you know when you know better you do better that's what Maya, Maya Angelou always used to say right so anyway I just thought it was really important so practice self-love before you accept love from someone else because that will really determine and um, shape the type of person that you end up looking for and that you end up attracting so always make sure that you have a good healthy self-image and love yourself it's important love you all right number two let it flow. Not every potential date is a potential mate, which is true. And I had to learn that lesson the hard way, too. You know, always looking, oh, my goodness, is he the one? I mean, you, you, you don't want to waste time with somebody, you know, you're not going to be compatible with. That's important. But sometimes, you know, if you go out on, on a date with someone, you're not quite sure, you know, where this person's coming from, whether this is end up going to go anywhere or not. You know, you don't have to put so much pressure on yourself thinking, oh, my goodness, is he the one? And um, I'm scared to death to go out with someone if he's not going to be the one. So sometimes, you know, you have to try someone on you know, one, maybe two times. After that, you probably would know, hey, I'm wasting my time or, hey, this might be going somewhere. Number three, don't think of him as a piece of clay to mold the way that you want him to be. And I see so many ladies crash and burn behind this. You know, they see a guy who has so many deal breakers, okay? <laughs> so many things that you don't, you don't have in common that actually that clash or are directly against the things that are important to you. And you think that, you know, you, you know some ladies think that you're gonna shape him and get him to be exactly who you want him to be. And that is usually a recipe for disaster, <laughs> you know, a recipe for disappointment. And you're gonna be the one who ends up being disappointed. So. You, don't do that. You know, if he if he is too far away or too you guys are too far apart from the things that you want, the things that you have in common, those types of things, I don't think you're gonna get him to like half the things that you like, you know. One important piece of advice that one young lady said to me was if he doesn't meet at least ten percent of the things on your list, there's no way he's gonna make you happy. So don't set yourself up for disappointment and heartache and um, really feel like you waste your time. Number four, don't expect the same habits to produce different results. And that's true, you know, you always hear that joke, you know, what's the definition of insanity? You know, trying the same things over and over again and expecting a different result. Um, and so, you know, if, you, if there were things that, um, that you kind of looked at in the past that you, you know, did, like I said, before you knew better, um, and, you know, you felt like, you know, oh, you know, I ended up wasting my time, that end up, didn't end up being a good result, then, you know, by all means, you know, try to find different ways of doing things, healthier ways of um, looking at the world, of um, choosing, you know, what type of guy you want to go out with, you know, what you're projecting out there, you know. Um, as a man thinks, so is he. You know, as, as we think in our minds, that's what we're going to attract. So if we think that we're great and sexy and wonderful, we're going to attract people who think, you know, who are um, interested in knowing us and really feel the same way. 
Number five, make yourself a priority while you can. So, you know, if you have times, you know, if you have kids, you know, you have times where they're either visiting their dad or, you know, grandparents have them, make yourself a priority. You know, if you can't afford to get a pedicure, give yourself one. You know, make yourself feel pretty. You know, if you know, if you need if you're gonna you know dye your hair or get your hair cut or you know, buy that cute dress that's on sale, you know. <laughs> or even if it's not on sale, treat yourself if you can, you know. Be make yourself a priority. Sometimes, you know, especially if we're moms, we, you know, you think, Oh my gosh, it's so um, I'm, that's being so selfish. My kids need this. My kids need that. Yes, the, your kids will always need something, um, but you need things too. So make yourself a priority. Number six, um, don't make excuses for people who need to be excused from your life. Yeah. <laughs> and to be honest, I fell into that for a long, 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 long time. You know, a lot of people, you know, I tell them I stayed married for way too long. You know, I speak a blessing over him and wish him well. Um, you know, so I don't, I don't carry any bitterness, but, you know, I made excuses way too long. And actually, I made excuses before we got married. <laughs> so, so let me, let me just be totally honest here, okay? <laughs> I did that. Anyway, <laughs> all right, now we're going to stop with number seven. Okay, number seven is don't be a wife to a boyfriend. Oh, my goodness. You know what? I think that um, that's going to be the subject of my blog next week, Monday. <laughs> oh my goodness. So many women fall into that. You know, men who say right off from the get-go, I'm never going to get married again. I'm never going to marry you. But they want, want you to treat them as if you've made a lasting commitment. And they have no intention of doing so with you. And that always, that always, always involves money. You know, they want you to treat them like a husband when it comes to money, <laughs> right? <laughs> um, and, you know, everything else, you know, it, for them is theirs and only theirs and they're separate things. And they want you to treat everything that you have like it, it belongs to them too. So just be very, very careful. That, all, that, you know, focuses back on how you feel about yourself, how you value yourself, how you view yourself how um, you see yourself as your self-worth you know so please 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 don't be a wife to a boyfriend okay <laughs> so I hope you guys found that helpful those are the seven tips let me just recap quickly number one practice self-love before you can accept love from others number two let it flow not every potential date is a potential mate number three don't uh, don't think of him as a piece of clay for you to mold. Number um, four, don't expect the same habits to produce different results. Number five, make yourself a priority while you can. Number six, um, don't make excuses for people who need to be excused from your life. And number seven, don't be a wife to a boyfriend. So thank you for spending a little bit of your lunch with me today. Um, I also have to be down here again tomorrow. I'm here from today until Friday. Oh. I'm using toothpicks to keep my eyes open, okay? <laughs> um, <clears throat> but anyway, I, um, so I won't be posting as much for these next couple of days. It doesn't mean I don't love you guys. This means that I'm in class. <laughs> anyway, so have a wonderful rest of the day. I miss you guys, and I will see you tomorrow. Take care.